Hello, my friends. I wish we were meeting under happier circumstances. Did you need help with anything? It's good to see you again. Yes, just like Beast, I can buy and sell all kinds of equipment that'll help you on your missions. I've got medicines that will help you in both of those categories. It holds very valuable technical information, but I need an entire set to be able to use them. It's very valuable. If I have enough of them, I can locate someone that Apocalypse has gone to extreme measures to hold captive. I don't know, but I've heard this person would be very useful to us. For you, anything. Hello. I want it understood that the X-Men are to set the example for the team. You must not give in to your animosity towards the Brotherhood. I realize that, but it appears our fates are intertwined for the moment. So for the sake of Beast, please learn to work with the Brotherhood. Partly out of spite, I would guess. I'm certain our victory at Genosha has him smarting. But he also did it to remove our equipment for detecting his primary base of operations. I'm afraid so. Like all machines, it can be rebuilt, but that will take time. Time we cannot afford to spend right now. I don't know, but I'm sure he has his ulterior motives. Apocalypse is not one to take action without a good reason. I doubt it. Polaris and Quicksilver were taken on purpose, whereas Beast was taken because he was at the wrong place at the wrong time. I get the feeling they're being held in an entirely different location. Magneto would much rather be searching for his son, Quicksilver, but he has no idea where Apocalypse took him. Yes, hopefully as we search for Beast, clues will be uncovered that will give us the location of Apocalypse's base. I hope to see you soon. Which mission briefing would you like? Welcome to the Savage Land. My name is Kazar. You couldn't have come at a better time. It's just too bad you had to bring someone like Magneto with you. Yes. Magneto and the Brotherhood visited us several years back. I am Kazar, protector of the Savage Land, but in England I'm known as Kevin Plunder. I was born there, but I was brought here as a child by my father. He was a scientist searching for a rare element that could destroy any known metal. Shortly after discovering the element, he was killed, leaving me an orphan. I had quite a bit of help from various friends. This is no place to be without protection. It is a wildlife sanctuary created by an alien race known as the Nuwali. They built it under the guidance of a race from another dimension known as the Beyonders. Yes, but where it is located, no one is sure. Several years ago, Magneto came to the Savage Land and genetically altered some of the natives. He gave them superhuman powers. He sought to use them as an army, to put all of the Savage Land under his control. You are quite welcome, my friend. I am sorry, but I must insist you finish your mission in the Jungle Canal before you venture into other areas of the Savage Land. We must determine if Mystique is safe, and if she is safe, why she ran off into the jungle. Hey, X-Man! 
I don't know if you saw, but as soon as we landed in the Savage Land, Mystique spoke to Kazar and then headed into the jungle. Obviously, you ain't part of the Brotherhood. If anyone in our little group needs watching, it's her. Mystique's a great one for switching sides. But anyway, she's been gone a long time. I was thinking someone ought to go into the jungle canal and track her down. Oh, heck no. I just want to know what she's planning. You should use that computer by Xavier if you want a full mission briefing. Oh, yeah. I met him, all right. One of the creepiest blokes I've ever laid eyes on. Oh, he's always carrying on about how only the strong should survive. It's like a bleeding religion to him. Oh, you mean since everyone found out about my working for Apocalypse? Nah, it's all been forgiven. For the most part. Oh, it wasn't that easy, and they'll be keeping an eye on me. But hey, look at the crew I'm running with. There's not a one of them that wouldn't switch sides if the price was right. Yeah, whatever. Which mission briefing would you like? Welcome to the Savage Land. I trust you're familiarizing yourselves with the area. Oh yeah. It's got raptors, pterodactyls, and pythons as big as cars. Real cozy place. And we think Beast might be here? Yeah. In the rubble of the X-Mansion, I found a message scratched into the wooden floor. It read, Savage Land. I don't know. Sounds kind of fishy to me. I had no idea you were such a pansy, Wolverine. But I guess that's why you talk so much and fight so little. That does it. You're dead meat. Wolverine, think of Polaris. Right. Yeah, we need these jerks to find her. But once this truce is over, you and me are gonna have a little chat, Juggernaut. Anytime you want, short stuff. Let me know when you're going to have this conversation, Wolverine. I may want to talk with Juggernaut as well. Charles, what is our first order of business here in the Savage Land? A short time ago, Mystique left to search the jungles for a mutant named Destiny. She's recently took up residence in the Savage Lands. Apparently, neither woman has been heard from in quite some time. Do you suspect Mystique is up to something? With her, there's always that possibility. But right now, I'm merely concerned for her safety. Pyro followed her as far as the Jungle Canal. Search that area and see what you can find. Don't worry, Charles. We'll make certain Mystique's all right, and discover what mischief she's up to. Very good. Until we meet again. Well, if it isn't my former protege, how are you doing, rogue? Stabbed anyone in the back lately? Hello, Mystique. Bitter as ever, I see. But if anyone has the right to be mad, it's me. You talked to me into joining the Brotherhood when I was nothing but a kid. I tried to open your eyes to a much bigger world, but you had to grow a conscience and scurry off to join the X-Men. I just don't understand it. I know you don't understand, and that's the real pity. But this is no time to be dredging up past history. Why don't you just tell me what you're doing sneaking around the jungle? 
If you must know, I'm looking for a dear friend of mine. Her name is Destiny. What's a friend of yours doing in the Savage Land? She foresaw that Apocalypse would attack Genosha, so she came here to escape the war. Your buddy Destiny can tell the future? That's a pretty powerful mutant ability. I can see why you'd want to be friends with her. Why must everyone suspect me of having ulterior motives? I know my having a friend sounds odd. Even I have trouble believing it. But Destiny is my one true friend. All right, all right. Don't go getting all teary-eyed on me. Have a little self-control, would you? How about you come along with us and we'll all go looking for her? Thanks, Rogue, but I'd sooner walk on hot coals. I'm going off in one direction while you're heading off in another. That way we'll cover more ground. Now get out of my way! Stay down. Some real power. Better luck next time, sugar. You fools! Apocalypse spoke of you so highly, yet you were easy to trap. I am Garok, god of the sun here in the Savage Lands. I've not found her yet, but when I do, she'll make a fitting present for Apocalypse. And in return, he will aid me in my conquest of the Savage Land.
Don't pat yourself on the back just yet, Garrok. What is the meaning of this? You're free! Together we can defeat Garrok! And stay down! seen a vision of the Brotherhood and X-Men working together, but I had thought it was a mistake. My arm was injured while I was hiding from Garak, but not to worry, I'll be fine. I do have news you might be interested in, though. I overheard Garak say your friend Beast is being held in a new Wally temple. I don't know. You might talk to Shana. She's very familiar with this area. Destiny, oh, you've been hurt. If the X-Men did this to you, I'll have their heads. I'm fine, my friend. I just require a bit of medical attention is all. Come along then. I'll take you to Avalon, and we'll have that arm looked at. I suppose I should thank you, X-Man, but I could have found her without your aid. Well done, team. I must admit to a certain amount of surprise that Mystique's intentions were purely altruistic. But now the mystery of her whereabouts has been solved, and we have a new danger to deal with. Return to Avalon as soon as possible and speak to Angel. He has information regarding a plot to destroy the Savage Land. Ah, yes! More power! Looks like you're gonna get to see some pretty heavy action soon. As soon as we got here, I did a little recon of the area and spotted a group of soldiers headed for the atmospheric generators. If those soldiers destroy that equipment, the entire Savage Land is going to revert to its normal freezing temperatures. They're Apocalypse's forces, I'm sure of it. If you want more information, use the mission computer to get a full briefing. It's like a page out of prehistoric times. This land is filled with plants and animals that were extinct millions of years ago. You got me. If I didn't know we landed in the Antarctic, I'd swear we were in the tropics. Apocalypse really did a number on it. Blew the whole place apart. It's gonna take a month just to dig down to the sub-basement. Don't worry about the professor. He's got deep pockets. A new X-Mansion is a drop in the bucket to him. I sure hope so. There's no telling what Apocalypse will do to him. Apocalypse is a sadistic monster. He has a way of turning people, making them do things they don't want to do. But Beast is tough. 
We'll find him long before Apocalypse can get him to crack. Anytime, my friend. I suppose you've come to me looking for praise, so I'll just go ahead and get it over with. Thank you for saving destiny, X-Man. You're the greatest. I know how you X-Men work. You love to bask in positive feelings. So there, you got your pat on the head. Now leave me alone. A word of warning, though. If you want to question Garok, you should do it soon. Because after I see him, he probably won't be able to speak. She's a mutant, with the power to foretell the future. Destiny is a very dear friend of mine, and I don't like it when someone threatens my friends. She foresaw the attack on Genosha and wanted to seek safety. Yes, but Magneto refused to believe anyone could overcome his defenses. Of course I do. They're so straight-laced. Magneto let the Brotherhood know that we have to get along with the X-Men, as long as Quicksilver's safety is at stake. Scarlet Witch seems to have taken that to heart. She's positively drooling over Colossus. The pleasure was all yours, X-Man. Come to boast about defeating me, X-Man? Savor this moment, because it will never happen again. My name is Garok. And you would do well to fear me, for I am centuries old and worshipped as a sun god. Long ago, I was a British sailor trapped here after a shipwreck. I wandered the savage land until I found a temple and drank a potion that slowly converted me to this rock-like form. I had no use for her, but I had made a deal with the Horsemen of Apocalypse. We agreed, if I handed destiny over to him, he would aid me in conquering the Savage Land. His name is Mikhail Rasputin. Yes, I know. Intriguing, isn't it? <laughs> Why should I be concerned with her? Um, she doesn't frighten me. Um, Mystique doesn't frighten me in the least. Hello, X-Man. Thank you for coming to my aid in the jungle. I recently had a most disturbing vision of the future. It told of death, defeat, and betrayal. I saw the death of your friend, Beast. And what's more disconcerting is that in the near future, Apocalypse will defeat a large army and claim victory. I also saw you trapped by the betrayal of a teammate. I do not control the visions, and they are sketchy because the future is fluid, constantly shifting. But what I have seen will come to pass. I'm afraid that it can. Because I foresaw the attack on Genosha and didn't wish to be a part of it. Yes, but as we all know, Magneto can be a bit headstrong at times, and in this case, he didn't want to hear that his defenses of Genosha could be defeated. I believe so. I recently had a vision dealing with the four who are one. It deals with four mutants who are separate yet alike. For some reason, Apocalypse wants these four. I'm glad to help if it aids in returning Quicksilver to his father's side. Hello, my friend. I hope to... Which mission briefing would you like? Greetings. It seems we have a situation that requires your immediate attention. While scouting the area, Angel discovered a small army preparing to destroy the atmospheric generators for the Savage Land. Excuse my ignorance, Professor. What are atmospheric generators? 
They are highly advanced equipment left behind by aliens long ago. The generators are what create the savage land's tropical environment. But if those generators are destroyed, this entire area will be plunged back into the Antarctic temperatures that surround it. My God, this is terrible. Thousands would freeze to death in a matter of hours. Good heavens, who would do something so vile? Unknown. There's some speculation they are the forces of a horseman of apocalypse. Well, we whipped the last one's butt in Genosha. Who's horseman number two? That is also unknown. Why do you people bother having these little brief and soirees when all you do is raise more questions? They ask these questions so that when we're out in the field, we know what to look for. Thanks, Wanda. Now it makes complete sense. Go ahead. Keep talking, Chuck. <clears throat> As I was saying, a small army is about to attack the atmospheric generators. And you would like us to stop them before they can bring into Ice Age to the Savage Land? Yes. And perhaps you could question them for information that would lead us to beasts. Oh, I am certain we'll be able to find time to ask them for the whereabouts of our friend. Very good. Until we meet again. Magneto Juggernaut Scarlet Witch Toad Brotherhood of Evil Remember to follow my commands. succeed in destroying the other processors. This section of the Savage Land is going to be buried under snow and ice in a matter of seconds. That means we'll never find out what Apocalypse wants here, and we'll never save Quicksilver.
Once again, I am victorious! Nyet, this is impossible. Mikhail assured me you would never get this far. Mikhail Rasputin is our leader. You would do well to fear him, for he is a, a horseman of Apocalypse. Da, and he will be enraged when he hears you were the reason for our failure. If you value your lives, you will flee now. Mikhail knew you would be coming. He wanted to force you to leave this savage land so you would not disrupt his search for the four. All Mikhail told us was that Apocalypse is searching for four mutants with a particular DNA. I will tell you nothing. Mikhail would kill me. Very well, but does he understand the process is extremely painful? And it could damage his long-term memory. No, wait, wait! I will tell you everything! He is being held prisoner in an ancient underground Nuvali temple. But it cannot be reached on foot, and you cannot use your X-Jet. We have hidden surface-to-air rocket launchers everywhere. Any time. And sir, I do hope you realize I was only bluffing. I would never have attempted to read your mind without your consent. You will not be so smug when you meet Mikhail. <laughs> He will destroy you! Less than formidable.
need more power to do that. We got company. Gonna need more power to do that. How do I do it? Yes! I am even stronger now. Very well.
does Apocalypse continue to send lackeys? I have told him I won't join his forces. Ah, most interesting. I'd heard they'd come to Avalon. You must be friends of Kazar. Close enough. Your deaths will serve as a warning to anyone who would work with Kazar. There should be a door that leads to the inner chambers. That most likely is where they're keeping Beast. But I would warn you, the door requires two keys to open. They're probably hidden somewhere in the temple. than before.
if you insist. Ah, uh, there you are! You should have run when you had the chance. I cannot do that because I lack the power. What do you want? Luckily, one size fits all.
Cyclops Nightcrawler Wolverine Jean Grey is in a dialect I don't know, but it looks to be a key of some type. Sorry to bother you in the middle of your mission, but I just discovered Mikhail has stolen my father's cache of antimetal. 
It is a material that can cut through any known metal. If Mr. Sinister got his hands on it, he would figure out some way to replicate it. That is exactly what I was thinking. You must find where Mikhail has hidden the anti-metal in the Nuwali temple. Return it to me, and I will make sure no one ever finds it again. Definitely stronger. Will do.
Rogue. Stay alert and stay alive. The writing on it is in a dialect I don't know, but it looks to be a key of some type.
Well done, my friends. I have been told the vibranium is located somewhere in that area. But be careful. It will be very well guarded. Sometimes I enjoy this too much.
Yes, the next level. You bet. What? Iceman. Everyone, be cool. Yeah. Sugar. Certainly. It says, Trespassers beware. Only those who control all of the four elementals will survive. Yes, that makes sense. Gather the skulls. That must deactivate all traps. Huh? <laughs> 
thank the Maker. Return it to me as soon as you can. I must hide the Vibranium somewhere that Apocalypse and his horsemen will never find it.
Bishop Colossus Storm Okay, let's roll for returning the anti-metal to me, my friend. I'll hide it in a place where it will never be found. My father's secret will once again be safe. 
You are quite welcome, my friend. Which mission briefing would you like? We now have confirmation there is a horseman of apocalypse here at the Savage Land. What is his name, Professor Xavier? Mikhail Rasputin. No, not my brother, Mikhail. I'm afraid so, Colossus. <laughs> so you got a black sheep in the family too, huh, comrade? Well, don't feel so bad. My stepbrother's an embarrassment to me. Quiet, Juggernaut. Can't you see Colossus is in pain? Thank you, Wanda. You are very kind. Uh, hey, what about my pain, Wanda? I feel very bad for poor old Colossus. Professor Xavier, how did my brother come to be a horseman of apocalypse? I don't know, but we must be extremely cautious. Mikhail is a force to be reckoned with. But there is good news. We know for certain Beast is here, but he's inside a buried temple. A temple we can't walk to because there's no path. And we can't fly there because Mikhail's put automated surface to air missiles everywhere. We'll never get there. That's not entirely true. Shana has informed me there may be a path to this temple, but it's in a particularly hazardous section of the jungle. Uh-huh. Is anyone else not thrilled at hearing this is a particularly hazardous section of the jungle? Sauron, an enemy of Khazar, dwells in this area of the jungle. We're not certain, but it must be assumed he has joined Mikhail's forces. So you think there might be a trap waiting for us? Most likely, but we have little choice. It is our only path to beast. Be careful, and good luck to you all. Which mission briefing would you like? Our host Kazar has recently informed me a cache of anti-metal has been stolen. Anti-metal? What the heck is that? Isn't it an element that's able to destroy any known metal? Correct. Antimetal was what brought Khazar's father to the Savage Land and eventually led to Khazar being stranded here. Most impressive, Wanda. You are as intelligent as you are lovely. Why, thank you, Colossus. Hey, hey! What's going on here? I mean, if you look past the fact Colossus is big and handsome and rugged, What's he got that I ain't got? It is indeed mind-blowing, isn't it, Toad? So, Charles, what is it that Kazar wants us to do? He believes the anti-metal was stolen by Mikhail's forces. He would like you to search the Nuwali temple and see if you can find it and return it to him. Kazar does not want it to fall into Apocalypse's hands. If Mr. Sinister were able to replicate it, the results would be disastrous. Apocalypse's army would be unstoppable. No bank or military installation would be safe. Not to mention what it would do to an adamantium-laced skeleton like yours, mein guter Freund. Anti-metal sounds extremely dangerous, Charles. We'll find it and return it to Kazar. Very well, then. Be on your way. Which mission briefing would you like?
Destiny had a most disturbing vision of the future. It spoke of the death of beast, a victory by apocalypse, and your having been betrayed by a teammate. Ah, telling the future's a bunch of hogwash. Nobody really knows what's gonna happen. At least not with me, they don't. I don't know about that, Wolverine. Down in New Orleans, I seen plenty of people do it. And they's usually right. But she's talking about Beast dying. It can't be true. Rogue, I made the mistake of ignoring her predictions and lost Genosha because of it. Admittedly, this is disconcerting. But her predictions don't currently impact us. We are still planning on rescuing Beast. But what if he croaks because we try to save him? Maybe he'd be fine if we just leave him be. You know better than that, Cajun. We can't leave Beast in the hands of Apocalypse. Mm-hmm. You right. We gotta risk it. Hey, what about a prediction of one of us ratting the others out? Ain't we gonna do something about that? An interesting point, Toad. But what would you have us do? I should all know. You're the one with the big brain. You figure it out. All we can do is be vigilant and report anything out of the ordinary. Oh, I intend on keeping both eyes wide open for trouble. Very well, then. Godspeed. It's good to see you again. Did you need something? Any questions? Any questions?
Form up on me. Duh. 